This is part 11 of the basic Python programming tutorial for new and intermediate Blender users. And in the previous lessons, we were looking at how to modify the mesh of an object as well as how to uh, get a particular object in the scene based on its name and move that object. And in this lesson, we'll look at a way to get any object within the scene and modify the location or the mesh data. So let's just add something to the scene here. First, let's see. So this little section of code, it says cycle through all the objects in the scene and print to the console. That's the critical part like that. All right, so let's just run it. Let's see what happens. Press Alt-P. And there it's doing what it was before. It just moved it up by th five and it moved the mesh over by three. And then apparently it would have printed the objects to the console. But remember, it's not this console. I have to go up here to the uh, system console. Maybe I had that open already. Oh yeah, I did. Okay, hang on. File, system console. Let me go get it. So there's the console and what it did, it went and printed it prints the plane, location, lamp, icosphere, cube, cone, camera, etc. It did it a couple times. So it prints it to this console. So but sometimes I want it down here. I just want to know on the fly what something is. So just like I do up here, current object, I can say, um, I can just define a variable down here. I can say get cube is equal to bpy.data.objects cube like this. And then I can just do the same thing on the fly interactively. I can say print. Uh, get cube is going to be the name of it plus let's see this works down here like this and then string got a converter string uh, get cube dot location like this uh-huh well get cube dot name okay so it tells us the cube object and the location of the object is zero zero one two three so let's press N and verify that is for the cube and there it is right there so you can either work interactively doing this or you can work via the console but within here the reason for doing this is what this is doing is let's move this over a little bit it's just cycling through all the objects within bpy.data.objects so before we just got the object within bpy.data.objects called cone but in this case we cycle through cycle through all the objects like this and so in that case the name of the object for each time would be called object not necessarily current object so object, oh one of the things we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to indent everything so we're gonna cycle through all of this code and we're gonna pick up each one and instead of picking up that one we already have object so for the mesh, we're going to call it, we'll comment out that, and we're going to call it mesh equals object.data. All right, because that'll be associated with the object being cycled through, and it's going to have to be indented like that. And we don't need this one either now. We'll just comment this out like this, but we are going to have to indent all these to be part of that loop. So a tab all this like this and then in this very last part the mesh is okay here but on this very last part current object is now gonna have to change comment that out and it's just gonna be called object plus equals 5.0. So what this should do, it should cycle through all the objects within the scene and get the get the data for each one and then modify the vertex of each one and then move each one up in the scene like that. And let me see if I've got that object right. The mesh is equal to object.data. That looks correct. You never know, you know, how it is. There's always a programmer error. Um, and we'll move this back down to the surface before we start. Just kind of get an idea, see if this works. All right, we'll press Alt-P. Oh, 
error. Okay, we better go see what's in the error. Let's see, type error, mesh type found, camera instead, line 33. Okay, let's see what I did wrong. So 33, line 33, oh, oh. So basically it found the camera object, but it can't modify a mesh of a camera because the camera doesn't have a mesh. So you know what I'm going to do for that real quick? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it should be only looking at this first layer. Let's just see if we can do this. Let's just move the camera off to another layer. See if we can do it without deleting it. All right, and then uh, let's rerun it. Let's see if the same script fails. Same script is yeah, expected mesh type found camera instead. Nah, I didn't see it. Doesn't like that. So I'll control Z him back there and just delete him. Okay, now let's run it. All right, so there they go. So that it picks them all up, and if we look closely, it has modified the mesh data of each one as well. All right, so in that case, if you want your camera in the scene, you're going to have to do a conditional check and say if the, if the object is equal to the camera, then don't do it. All right, so we'll be covering that somewhere in the rest of the programming lessons as we go. But just so the last three lessons give you a lot of information as far as op modifying the meshes and the objects themselves and that gives you a lot more control over your code already so um, uh, that's it for this lesson and I'll see you in the next lesson